I'm giving myself seven days to learn how to roll a blade, particularly aggressive inline. When I was growing up in the early 2000s, rollerblading wasn't really in style and I mostly skateboarded as a means of transportation as well as longboarding and biking and just about everything else. But I always thought to myself, man, that does look fun. So I think it's time to try it out. There's three main things I wanna accomplish in these seven days. One is learning how to drop in on a ramp with coping. Two, I wanna learn how to jump on things, jump down things, jump over things. And three, I wanna learn how to do a grind. Whether it's a grind or a slide, I wanna do something. I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, I read a bunch of threads on Reddit, and I came out with the USD Aeon 60 pair of aggressive inline skates. The 60 stands for 60 millimeter wheels, but they actually have 61 millimeter wheels. And with that being said, let's get into it. Day one, I headed to the local track because I just wanted to figure out if I could even ride these things. The only time I ever rode roller skates before was at a rental inline skating place that I used to go to when I was like eight years old with summer camp. I'm 32 now, so it's been a while, but it looks like I can push. I feel moderately comfortable, so I decided to try to start stopping. And... That's a little bit uncomfortable, but I kind of get the gist of it. You gotta load your weight on the front foot and then drag the back one sideways. It's good for like taking off a bunch of speed and then coming to a stop, but I never really had a bunch of speed to begin with and slamming into the fence is usually the best option if I really needed to stop. Then I got a little ahead of myself and I decided to jump that three and it felt pretty comfortable. These skates are pretty low to the ground and they feel very connected to my feet. So jumping around feels super natural and just pushing forward feels great. Getting a little ahead of myself. Almost got caught dragging my foot there. But that was the end of day one. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Peace. Now on day two, I'm trying to learn how to go backwards. This was way more difficult than I expected. As soon as I started, I didn't know where to go next. I watched a few videos on how to skate backwards, but they seem to have all left my mind at this point. It comes a certain point here where I start understanding that I need to load my weight into my toes. I don't really have the confidence to look behind me while doing it yet, but as I'm understanding this, I'm starting to move backwards. And you see here that when I turn my brain off a little bit and I don't think about it so much, just kind of load my weight on my toes and then try to go, it, it just goes backwards. I know you're supposed to be in like a A position and then push in the opposite way that you would when you want to go forward. But, you know, I didn't feel super comfortable, but that's pretty much it for pushing backwards. We'll get back to that later. And that's the end of day two. Day three. I pretty much just focus on jumping. I set up around the numbers, put my camera down, and just try to clear it. Each time I get a little bit farther, a little bit more confidence. This feels pretty natural overall. I'm just trying to get more comfortable landing. I notice if I land with my feet closer together, it feels more stable, but it's harder to commit to that. Naturally, I want to spread my legs out in midair to give myself like a bigger base, but that doesn't really work out. Put my backpack down between my shoes, start committing to a few bigger jumps, and you know, pretty comfortable. Nothing too amazing. Happy with my progress so far. See y'all tomorrow. Now, here comes my first day at the skate park. This is when things got a little bit tricky. I first started with trying to roll up a small quarter pipe and then roll back down and it felt like the most dangerous thing I've ever done in my life. I'm not sure why I expected it to be very easy, but it wasn't. There's a few times where I didn't know where to be putting my weight. It didn't really make much sense to me. It felt very counterintuitive, but I kept trying and it got a little bit more stable. And then I, I sent it to the mini ramp. As you can see, I quickly realized that the ramp behind me Oh my God, I'm so scared of the ramp behind me. <laughs> was gonna be a problem as my confidence disappeared as soon as I was headed in a direction with an object behind me in which I wasn't looking. So this caused me to have a little bit more trouble than I was having before. But this is good, you gotta fall a little bit, get used to the pavement, and then learn to commit. 
Over here, I just took a little bit more speed to it. We're kind of seeing what happens. And I'm starting to get a hang of it a little bit. I'm not falling, but I'm not pumping either. I'm kind of just riding up and down. So I'm not gaining any speed and I'm losing a lot of speed in the middle. Because this is a skate park that was built for K-Rob, who is a BMXer. So it's a BMX park. The ground is very rough and everything in general is really rough. So it rolls very slow. Now at this point I decide I can roll backwards. Now let's go try to drop in. That was the first goal on our list. Let's get it done. hard on my hip and knock the wind out of myself. Luckily, I did a lot of skateboarding when I was younger, so oh, instinctually, I turned myself to fall on oh. my side instead of falling completely back. It wasn't too bad, I was able to get right back up and keep trying, and after a few attempts, I just had to lean forward and really commit to sticking through. The difficult part for me was timing when to lean back at the bottom of the transition. Once I felt comfortable on the little one, I stepped it up a notch and hopped on the quarter pipe with the coping. First try, things kind of got out from under me, but I didn't fall. Next one, I tried to like hop in a little bit and then hit the deck. The third one, I just kind of committed, stuck yeah. my feet down and prayed for the best. Ooh, I did it. Oh my God. Oh. I remember getting home and looking at the footage and not being quite as excited as I am right now in this footage, but I'm happy I did it. That's goal one. Next, I send it to the mani pad and just start learning jump down things. I felt pretty comfortable jumping at the track, so sent it down the three stair a couple times. Well, it's really like an extended two block. Flat. My confidence is pretty high at this point. I'm feeling good, so I decided to start trying Machios oh or Machios. I'm not sure how you say them, but it's basically just one foot grind on the sole plate, and it's feeling okay. Not something where I'm getting comfortable to commit to, but I'm just kind of putting my foot up there and then lifting up my left leg to kind of see what it feels like. But I'm happy with that. First day at the skate park on rollerblades. That's the end of day four. Day five, I built myself a P-rail out of two pieces of a two by six and a PVC that is two inches in diameter. And I decided I was gonna try to learn front side grinds. Step one was to try to just step up into one, which proved to be very scary. At this point, I really thought that this was never gonna be possible, but I really wanted to be able to stand up there and kind of balance myself and not feel like I'm gonna immediately hit the deck. So I did that a few times and then I decided, let me roll up and slide my foot and see what that feels like. Did that a few times. I tried jumping on, almost fell. Second time, a little bit better. And then I started to get a hang of it. I could feel my skates locking in and I started to jump from a parallel position, like I would be rolling up to it. And after I did that a few times, I was like, all right, let's start sending it and see what happens. As you can see, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just sending it. In my head, I was getting real low and bending my knees and flaring skates out but as you can tell in the footage I'm not doing that at all around here I'm starting to get my front foot to slide but I noticed that my back foot is really catching up a lot because I'm putting all my weight on my back foot and I'm really leaning forward as you can see I'm always hopping over the other side of the rail and uh, this is tough to correct because that's kind of where my eyes are going. I need to learn to like look up and in the direction that I want to go more and then in the direction that I want to land, which is on the same side that I jumped. At this point, I feel like I'm gonna get it. I'm almost there. Hey, I would count that. That one, not so much, but the one before felt pretty good. Day five. Now something I completely forgot about the day before when I built my P-Rail was that I probably needed to wax that thing. So I got myself a candle and I waxed it up on day six. Immediately upon stepping on, I could tell it's a lot more slippery. 
And then I had that thought to myself again. Oh, I'm never going to be able to commit to this. Because now this is scarier. But I decided I was just going to do it. See what happens. And after a few attempts, I finally got locked in. And I felt both skates slide at the same time. And then something happened where I was so excited. I felt like I was going to get it. I actually got it. I would call that a successful front side grind. I wanted to get it cleaner, so we kept getting more, but I believe oh, yeah. that's goal two off the board. And since adding wax initially gave me a little bit more confidence after I felt a good slide, I decided I needed to do it again. Not sure if it made much of a difference, but mentally, I was committing now. I wanted to slide this whole PVC pipe. That one was the farthest one yet. This is an eight foot pipe. And I'm getting about seven feet, I would say. Pretty happy with that. These last couple, I get right to the end and I come off a lot more squared up. I'm, not, I'm still not coming off on the same side that I'm jumping on, but the improvements are there and I'm feeling really good now. My confidence is at an all time high. Face. You know what they say about the yin and the yang or something like that. But the highs of day six juxtaposition themselves with the lows of day seven. And I decided to go to the skate park and try to learn soul grinds. I started on a small manual pad and realized that this thing will not slide at all. Luckily I brought my wax so I went to my car and got it and tried waxing it up a little bit and realized it's still sticking. So I kind of gave up on that and went to this ledge thing. It's higher than it looks on video, I swear. And as you can tell, it is a little bit downhill. The beginning goes up and then it's flat on top and then it goes down. It's an interesting obstacle, probably fun to skateboard on, but I was having a very tough time mentally committing to it. All my confidence that I acquired from the day before was completely gone. I tried stepping up on it and changed my mentality from doing a soul grind to trying to do the Mac heel that I was working on before. The problem here though was I couldn't really commit to putting all my weight on the grind foot and in my mind there was just no way I was gonna jump up into one of those with just one foot on the grind. So at this point I kind of just chalked it up. My confidence was shot. I realized I wasn't gonna be able to do this and it's okay. You know we got a lot of W's so time to move on. I practiced some 180s to fakey. I realized I was jumping the wrong direction a couple times and as soon as I started jumping to my right instead of my left, I felt a lot more comfortable. So obviously that's the position that I want to jump on. Then I took it to the mani pad and tried to do the same thing on that a few times. After this my GoPro had some issues and I swear I did it cleaner but you'll just have to believe me. <laughs> and then I went to the kicker and this felt really weird. I don't know what the deal was but every time I went up to kicker I feel like I lost all my speed completely and I just came to a halting stop which was obviously not the case but I jumped off it a few times and I called it a day. I did it. I accomplished all the three goals I set out to accomplish in my seven days learning how to rollerblade and I picked up myself a new hobby that I'm gonna love. We do have an indoor park so despite it being winter and I'm gonna try to go to the indoor park at least once a week and try to learn something new. One of my big goals is really to skate the mini ramp comfortably. So hopefully with a nice smooth wooden park I'll be able to really up my confidence and start flowing around. Keep a lookout for an update video. I'll probably make one at six months. Roll on.